There was so much that I liked about this movie and so much that I disliked. I'm like literally torn. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on the movie Bodies, 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 which is a Gen Z kind of like whodunit horror type movie. And I don't know if you guys have been following my channel, but one of my favorite types of movies are mystery movies. They're so hard to do them right. And there's so few of them that are actually ownable and great. And when a mystery is done right, it's probably one of the most indulgent movies that I could possibly watch. I just love a good mystery. So I had no idea what this movie was about. I had heard it at one point. I mentioned to my coworker about this movie and he's like, I don't really like mysteries, but I watched this one that was pretty good. We ended up searching for it and found it. It's called Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. So there was so much that I liked about this movie and so much that I disliked. I'm like literally torn and it's kind of designed to be that way. It's kind of designed to get under your skin. So. All right, guys, let's jump into the pros that I have with this movie. And the pros is that it was very high energy and it really just goes for it. Nothing is held back. Nothing feels watered down. Nothing feels like, you know, very slow cookie cutter acting. Everything is just 10 out of 10, high energy, crazy Gen Z wildness. So I appreciate that nothing was held back and it never felt like I was watching a slow movie or people just reading lines. It was crazy beginning to end. Also, I felt like not the music that they play in this, but there's kind of like some background jingles and background noises that they have in this movie that were actually really, really catchy. She was devastated. She was having like a like full on panic attack. Yeah, but she's an actress. She's acting. Remember? And every time that something was going on or something mysterious was happening, they would start playing this jingle. And I actually really, really like it. I felt like it was a very catchy jingle and I have nothing bad to say about it. All right, guys, ba the basic premise of this movie is a bunch of rich Gen Z kids meeting up in a mansion for a storm party. So there's gonna be a storm later on and they're all meeting up for a storm party. And my coworker told me about that and I was just super interested in that premise. I don't know, I like movies about storms and weather. Maybe because I live in Southern California, we don't get very much, but as soon as I heard that premise and on top of that, it was like a murder mystery, I was so on board. So half of this movie is just kind of Gen Z talking, interacting, and the other half is kind of like whodunit mystery. And I felt like the actual whodunit mystery, the building was actually very good, very intense. I don't wanna to give too much away about this movie, but there is a point where it only it comes down to only a few characters. And even though there's only a few characters left, it was still like, who is the killer? Like who did this? It could be any of them. So the way that they built this movie and they the way that they hid the mystery was pretty good. I was really intrigued the entire time. The last thing I like about this movie is that it felt very unique. Uh, it felt like I was watching something from like a new director or just something that I haven't seen before. It just felt very different on lots of different levels. And for somebody who watches a lot of movies, I actually appreciated that it felt different and it felt unique. All right, guys, let's jump into the mixed aspects I have with this movie. And the mixed aspects I have are, and the Again, these are my personal choices, my personal opinions. I didn't feel like there was enough of the storm. There was a time halfway through this movie where they're looking around the house, the house is all pitch black, and there's no sounds of any storms anywhere. And I know maybe they were trying to get you to focus on what was going on in the house, or maybe they were trying not to annoy you with the sounds of the storm, but I actually listen to like rain when I go to sleep. I would have appreciated more storm sounds and more storm elements, but Again, I'm kind of mixed on it. It's not necessarily a con. I just wish I, I had more of that stormy element. So the twist in this movie is kind of dumb, I gotta say. And it goes along with the rest of the characters here because they're all not only Gen Z, but just like brainless party monsters, like degenerate party monsters. That's like all these kids is exactly who they are. It kind of goes along with that, that the twist was kind of like, oh, like that's that's the explanation for this whole movie. Something this simple and kind of dumb. It's like, oh, okay. I like the twist because I didn't actually guess it. But once you find it out, it's like, oh, all that for nothing? Okay. So another thing I don't like about this movie, and I'm trying to avoid spoilers here, is they only really give you closure and really explain one person's death in this movie. And it is probably the most important death. And it kind of does 
let you piece together how the rest of the kills went down, but I just wanted more closure. Although the answers that we do get are pretty interesting, kind of outside the box, I would have wanted more closure to how more things happened in the movie. Maybe that's just me. So another mixed aspect I have is the acting was all really, really good when you consider that they're trying to be these really dumb, degenerate, party monster Gen Zs. That's who they're trying to play and they are annoying and it doesn't seem like they're acting. So I gotta say that I did enjoy the acting. However, they didn't really sell the deaths very much. There was almost no emotion in them. It's almost like they didn't know how to act serious enough for the death scenes however every other scene no problems with the acting i never thought that anybody was acting i kind of bought into all these characters so i was mixed on the acting just because during the death scenes they didn't sell it as much for me all right guys let's jump into the cons that i have with this movie and the cons is that it's designed to be a really annoying Gen Z party type movie. And it's really designed to push the envelope. It's really designed to annoy you. If you have any sort of annoyance with anything that involves the Gen Z or the younger generation, this is just gonna freaking get under your skin and piss you off. You really have to come into this movie just expecting that they're trying to piss you off so that you don't get pissed off, kind of, you know? The worst parts of this movie were, the songs actually weren't bad, but they were just, such like dumb degenerate brainless party songs like the most dumb crazy cracked out degenerate party song you could ever come up with that's like all the party songs that they use in here and also the arguing whenever they're arguing or talking about drama admittedly that's not my favorite parts of movies as it is the times that they're arguing were some of the worst points in this movie i i liked when it got back to the story and the mystery i was super on board with that but all of the drama and arguing that was definitely a low point, but maybe that's just me. And again, it's kind of designed to be that way. They overuse common pop culture terms. It's kind of hilarious and it's designed on purpose. It's almost kind of supposed to be a parody. I didn't notice that till after I watched it, but it's supposed to kind of be a parody of everyone talking in these little text lingos and you're a narcissist and you're triggering me and all these other words. So this movie is one of the most mixed movies I had ever seen. It had so many scenes that were difficult for me to get through. But at the same time, this movie stuck around in my head for two or three days after I watched it, which does not happen very often. So I almost can't recommend this movie just because of how difficult it is to watch. And I'm somewhat of a younger person. I, you know, I'm on social media all the time. So I understand these terms, these Characters aren't too far off how the kids are today, but I could see half the people on my channel just saying no to this movie, no thanks, super annoying. If I had to give it a rating, I'd probably give it like a 7 to a 7.5. And a buy, try, or pass, woo! A try, if you can handle the most in-your-face, Gen Z, annoying stuff, then I would say try this. If not, just pass on it. Anybody older than me, I would honestly say just pass on it. Bodies, 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 a Gen Z mystery. I'm very, very torn on it. Lots of good, lots of bad. What did you think about it? What are some of your favorite mysteries? I would love to hear that down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of your guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully, having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.